Okay, hello and welcome to our Year 11 Information Evening, um, which for October 2020 is virtual. Um, I'm Mrs Edwards and one of the Assistant Principals at Bassingbourne Village College. I thought I'd start um, this evening by introducing you to our Year 11 team. It consists of myself, responsible for pastoral care, Mr Brock, curriculum concerns, and Miss Hill, who you'll be hearing from and um, also today, who oversees the college application process. Any initial day-to-day -day concerns should still be directed to your child's mentor. And in addition to this team, we also benefit from the support of Ms Chalmers, who is our revision lead for the school. All staff members remain accessible through their school email during this period, and we always aim to acknowledge emails within 48 hours. We're also available for phone and Google meetings, um, but please be mindful that these need to be pre-arranged with the relevant staff members. So, Moving on um, to some specifics around um, year 11 this year, I appreciate that there continues to be a great deal of speculation around the GCSEs of 2021 and I'm afraid at this point uh, we are still awaiting clarity around this from Ofqual. We're expecting this guidance and we were reassured that we would um, get this in mid-September um, so I'm really hopeful that we'll have confirmation of this extremely soon and once we do have that of course we will share it with yourselves immediately. Uh, there has been a great deal of media concern that there will need to be significant amendments for the 2021 exams cohort, given um, the perceived mislearning. Um, and I say perceived because I really do want to reassure you this evening that after detailed discussions and scrutiny with our staff team, we really are confident that our Year 11 students are absolutely where they need to be right now. Um, and they are in the right place with their learning. And we're currently um, undergoing some baseline assessments to ensure that this is very much the case. Uh, we've benefited through already um, delivering a, a planned three-year curriculum with this cohort. And that's allowed us absolutely ample time to cover the GCSE comp um, content. Um, so we feel that we're competently able to cover all required content in appropriate depth before students are due to sit their final exams. So I'd like to reassure you again, that we absolutely have no concerns around students having the knowledge that they need for those summer 2021 exams. During our professional development time this year, um, at the beginning of September, we spent a lot of time developing a whole college approach to feedback and um, to have a specific focus on ensuring that students were getting really personalised information through the feedback that staff had given them, both verbally and the written feedback, um, and this enables them to make um, progress. We're utilising very specific questioning techniques and really having some um, dialogue with our staff on, on what they look like to ensure that we're able to confirm knowledge and understanding, um, but also use those questions and answers that students are giving us to inform our future teaching and ensure that we're meeting students' specific needs. So on to kind of the key academic dates um, that you need to be very aware of this year, in addition to obviously um, the other more general dates that Ms Hills is going to give you around college applications. Our first data point will be shared with you very soon on the 23rd of October. There will then be two further data points and they're going to be dispersed across the academic year as displayed. So you can ensure that you can track your child's progress throughout the school year. All of our Year 11 students will sit a formal practice exam from the 23rd of November through to the 4th of December. And at the moment, we remain hopeful that we're going to be able to facilitate these in the main school hall with appropriate health and safety measures in place. We feel that there is real value in our students getting to rehearse sitting their practice exams in the actual hall and the conditions which, with, with which they'll sit the summer 2021 exam series. Um, so it's really important for us that we provide them with this opportunity. At the moment, we're unable to hold face to face parents evenings. Um, however, we recognise that this guidance could well have changed before our um, projected parents evening um, with yourselves on the 11th of February. If we are unable to deliver face to face meetings, um, we will have ensured by that point that we're able to deliver a suitable alternative um, at the same time that will ensure you have all the information you need to support your child in achieving in the summer 2021 exams. Attendance is even more important, obviously, this academic year. We absolutely know and, and have evidence to suggest that there is a direct link between school attendance and attainment. And whilst we know there are some fantastic online resources, and um, which we've all become quite familiar with during the lockdown period, 
there is absolutely no substitute for in-class teaching. We appreciate that during this um, period, there has been a lot of anxiety for parents around sending their children to school, but we'd like to reassure you that we have taken all the necessary steps and precautions to minimise minimize the risks and ensure the safety of our students and staff at Bassingbourne Village College. If you have concerns regarding your child's attendance, please do let myself know. Um, we can always uh, move things forward and have, it's always better that we have those discussions as early as possible. Um, and please ensure that wherever possible, any appointments, medical appointments or otherwise, are booked for students outside of school um, hours, as is in line with the local authority policy around uh, medical appointments for students. If your child is unable to attend school, please do remember that uh, you need to be informed in the school office. Um, and it is then the student's responsibility to catch up on any missed work. It's really important that our year 11s are kind of getting into the way of being proactive um, and taking a bit of ownership over their own learning. And um, so do encourage them to speak to their teachers and fellow students to ensure that they get the relevant notes and missed information from any missed lessons. Um, in terms of work for, self, uh, for students self-isolating, this will continue to be available on the Google Drive. So please do encourage your, your young um, people to get on the Google Drive um, for those periods of absence. So this year we have invested in GCSE Pod as an additional re revision and home learning resource. Uh, it's a really visual student friendly platform that enables staff to set specific um, revision activities and again enabling us to kind of personalise learning. All students um, have their own login details and um, so please do encourage your child to share this with you so that you can also monitor the work they're doing and I've got a couple of further slides on this in a moment. Um, the joy of GCSE Pods is that students can use this independently um, to help them revisit any required areas and it can be downloaded as an app. Um, students can set kind of playlists of um, specific areas that they want to revise, so, um, like specific pods, so, so these little short videos that they watch with then follow up question activities um, and they can download those so they actually don't need kind of 4G or Wi-Fi. Um, so they can, there really is no excuse not to be revising on the go or in those kind of wasted moments on car journeys and, and so on. We're continuing to use the Google Drive and moving forward, all of our homework will be set through this. Therefore, um, at this point, I'd really encourage you to ensure that you have your child's login details so that you can keep abreast with any home learning or revision that has been set for your child. And we are encouraging staff to be quite explicit and, and for those assignments that are homework, are writing homework because obviously um, students are using that within the classroom now as well in school. And um, so do again, please get your student and um, your, your child's logins. We are working um, on establishing guardian logins, but this is an involved process inv involving the ICT service. Um, and we're kind of reliant on them being able to lead us, uh, us through this. So it, it's a very much a work in progress. Um, I will, in, I've included on, on this PowerPoint so that you can access it at a later date, actually how your child can access GCSE pod. Um, so they really do have no excuses. You can guide them through this process if they um, say to you that they're having difficulties um, getting on. Um, and there is also a link there where you can get more information about how you can support your students um, through their GCSE, some really helpful little PDF document that I, I just wanted to bring to your attention today. So year 11 is always a more challenging year for students and it is likely at some point this academic year that some students are likely to feel anxious, overwhelmed or stressed. And it's really important that we reassure students that this is absolutely normal and that they are certainly not alone in these feelings. Um, and we have a, a, have a wealth of, of people to support them within school. Um, they have their allocated mentors, they have ourselves as the, the year group achievement leaders, but we also have a really strong student support team of Mrs. Turner and Miss Mitchell um, and Miss Pickett over in the Hive. Um, and in addition, we can access external support through the YMCA counselling for those students that might need a little bit of additional support. Um, again, hopefully you will uh, continue to have your logins and you continue to monitor um, how your uh, child is getting on at school through Progresso. Um, that documents kind of the merits that your students are receiving and the negatives. Um, so really important that you're kind of engaging conversations with your students around this. Later on in the year, as it gets close to the exam period, 
we will um, deliver another kind of key information evening where we'll start to think about how you can specifically help and support your students through the exam period. Um, it's really important that students are starting that revision now. I think Ms. Thomas is going to talk about that. But equally as important is that um, we're incorporating some downtime within student timetables and we're ensuring that they are socialising, exercising, taking those kind of calm moments just to kind of get in, you know, keep themselves in, in a place where they can access learning and, and they're feeling um, really positive about this year. Um, so that's all I have to say uh, for now. But if you have any specific questions that you don't feel have been answered um, through the, the PowerPoint um, videos that you've watched today, then please do take the time to fill in the Google document and, and, and share with us your questions, which Mr. Brock and I will be answering and, and, and re-putting onto the school website. Thank you um, again for taking the time um, to listen to this. Um, it is very much appreciated.